Okay, today I am going to show you our 20 year old tractor. This is an MTD um, yard machine and it's been with us 20 years. Um, when it was first bought, um, this is a 1998 model and if you don't believe me you can check that out that's the model number right there right there that's the model number and if you check that out it's been 20 years um, I love this thing actually running I love this thing sit outside in the Sun six plus years without using so this year I decided to take um, to take few things and trying to revive it so that's why it's out here um, the only thing is I left this for six years the only thing I need is the battery so I just hooked that up temporary because I'm gonna start it pretty soon um, it never had it never gave me any problems um, the only thing I replaced recently was the belt on it um, the drive belt that's about it but um, everything's original um, it's a brick and stratton and look at this it says built to last they weren't lying this is a 12.5 everything's original um, the only thing I did was recently was clean the um, and remember it's been six sitting for six years six plus years um, it's I just cleaned this recently and I sprayed a carburetor bowl um, I opened a nut and I took the carb spray and I sprayed over that um, the reason why I've been sit sitting here for six plus years is when I six years ago I decided to put this on um, this is actually a, a, a snow blower and this is a 1996 I'm sorry 1986 and I didn't know there was missing a bracket and I tried to get it on the internet to actually see what they were and stuff but um, people there was only one guy actually um, uh, had the same uh, had the same blower and he wasn't able to give me the pictures so I sat there for six years and then this year I decided to flip the tractor over and I fixed it and I rigged up a, a a thing underneath there and now it's actually working so I'm pretty happy about that um, um, I oiled everything and it's working great um, that's the secret to this this thing every year except for the last six years I just took everything out and I oil everything any moving parts I just spray some bolt loosener or whatever I have to grease things up even that I grease that up to the, the 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 starter and that seems to be working okay and everything else is working okay like the spark plug every year I have to take that up and I just cleaned it just every year once a year um, the, the the maintenance on that is is the spark plug and the carburetor and then the filter air filter the air filter I I just clean it um, I have a video on that using gas to clean your air filter to save some money so I probably link it at the end of this video uh, or just I'll just link it in the description um, that way you can clean your filter without buying it's actually pretty cheap easy and simple um, I have not replaced this is actually original filter um, here it actually still have the the bring and stratton um, symbol on it I'll take a look really quick while I'm talking I'll show you see that I don't know if you can see it in the camera that symbol right there that's original 
um, I just take this out every year and I clean it and that's actually the original filter but believe it or not so that's to tell you everything else is original the only thing I did recently which is my thing is I replaced the light from here um, because it was broken off a little bit so I changed into an LED I still saved the housing but I changed into the LED that was it that's the only thing that's been changed and like I said just the battery um, the weight on here I made it six years ago and it's I have it in another video too. check that one out too I made that for the weights um, but other than that that's about it um, the only thing I had to play with because this was um, kind of messed up a little bit from moving in and out so I drill a hole right there this actually comes all the way up here but I drill the hole and move this up a little bit because it wasn't engaging correctly and and plus this is got messed up because from going back and forth back and forth all the time so that's the only thing that got messed up on this but everything else is all the original um, nothing has been changed on here um, the only thing I did is I I was trying to make a, a hood a hood for this which I probably take a project on later but we have this since 1998 um, before I wasn't even born so you can tell right there that it actually lasts pretty long time um, the seat is still original let me tell you this seat has been out in the rain snow whatever and look at it it's still in good condition it's not even ripping or anything so apparently this model here with the MTD it's actually pretty good I'm surprised but uh, the other seats like the John Deere ones and all that stuff they all cracked and broken but this doesn't I'm surprised that it hasn't it hasn't broke but anyway I'm gonna start it I'm gonna put on choke and I'm gonna start it for you and see how it runs It starts up right away. Look at it. it starts right up. And I'm going to engage the snow blower. Whoops. I have to turn it louder to engage the motor. I guess Ugh. because if I don't um, if I engage the motor, I'm gonna crank up a little bit first. Oops! Settle down again. I guess I'm gonna have to redo this a little bit. Hold on, I'm gonna pause the video so I can adjust. Okay, okay, apparently the safety was on. So I'm gonna shut this down. it stops. I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to shut that down because it's, apparently it's... I had the safety switch on so I had to try to kill that because it wasn't... I wasn't sitting on it. And that was a safety switch. And that's how you bypass that one. So if you, if you ever need to bypass it <laughs> ice cream sticks or project sticks anyway um, I bypass it up front here but somehow when it's when it's on it pushes the other side so that's how I did it I must have just this a little lot more than I thought because you have to put the weight on it in order for it to open you see how it's open like that but if you don't put the weight on it it, 
it, it goes on by itself it touches on this side I thought it was I thought this side was enough but it's actually touching that side but that's about it that was my fault for not um, realizing that that safety switch um, you cannot engage this deck if you're not sitting on that and that's a big safety switch with this one so well if anyone find this video they probably would um, uh, um, would know that in case your mow doesn't work either when you when you drop this lever um, you have to be on the seat but anyway that's just a safety thing but other than that um, like I said everything is original um, I didn't really do much the only thing is I add this on because I'm going to use it as a dedicated mower not mower but slow snow blower and I greased up everything so my thing every year what I do to this is I grease every single thing that I see including that the gear the drive gear I also greased the, the, the this here the cap here I greased uh, the control arm I greased the uh, wheels so if you look into here you can actually see see that all that gunk that's actually uh, red grease that I sprayed in there that I injected there and then uh, the tire um, this actually have I replaced it I think I replaced it I'm not sure because I have two of them um, the same model and everything but the other ones in 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 in, in need a lot of help um, so I think I'm gonna swap the engine um, because this one's a 12.5 the other one's like 14 or 14.5 or 14 somewhere there I don't know uh, 14 horsepower so it's like two two more but it's a little bit bigger and then they changed the um, the muffler in the front so I'm still gonna leave the muffler as is on one side but um, I also add these lights in that's the only thing that's different on that other than that everything else is all original nothing has been changed um, uh, the muffler and everything it's all original there the like I said the only thing maintenance I do um, that I can advise if you ever have this mower or if you have a mower all you have to do is just shut off the shut off switch and let it run out like let's say after you're done mowing just shut the off switch put an off and on switch here and then just run it all out run all the gas out until all the gas is gone um, then you have no problem of, 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 of um, starting your mower for the for the season or whatever that's how I do it and then um, during storage I usually take this off and I clean not clean but dump it out and then just put a paper towel and just dry it all up leave it till it's all dry and then put it back and then after that every year I just take the bowl underneath here I spray a bunch of st uh, stuff underneath there that's it but that's all I ever do on this mower and it lasted all this time so you can tell how long this mower actually lasts and it's pretty um, uh, easy to do because you don't you don't really need to do much all you actually have to do is make sure your gas line is in and then your your carb that has to be sprayed um, and also to, to your choke line and your um, this is your choke line and this is your um, uh, fast and slow um, which is the control by the governor right here so make sure no grass or anything stick around there that's the place that I always clean and then your oil every year just dump it out I just put new oil in rather than just waiting and waiting for old oil I just put new oil but that's the only thing that I do on this mower and it sits out in the rain snow whatever we don't even put it in our garage as you can tell it's starting to get rust right here right there but it actually sat outside for six years and nothing's wrong with it 
Um, the only thing is, like, see how it's a little rusty now? I'm probably going to take a, a spray paint and spray it just to prevent the rust from going. Um, but that's about it on this, this mower. Like I said, we don't, like, we don't really do much now. I mean, from now on, it's going to be a dedicated... <laughs> dedicated snow plow um, I guess you can say a snow plow or snow blower but other than that that's about it on this video and I hope um, people who have this um, if they take good care of it it lasts last long as you can see 20 years and it's still in good condition the only thing you can't do is the battery but that's just a maintenance part but other than that, everything else is still in good condition. Um, I was thinking that I'm going to do another five more years. I'm going to do an update video. So I'm going to do every, if it's still, if I'm still around with all this stuff, I'm going to do it every, every five years. Anyway, that's about it on this video. And I hope you find it useful. Um,